Okay, so since the Lumia 1020's biggest feature is its 41 megapixel sensor, with that being said, it's powered by Qualcomm's S4 uh, dual core processor instead of a quad core. So we're going to see how quickly uh, the 1020 is able to process each image as it's taken, save it to memory, and then allow us to take a, an additional shot afterwards. Um, so I'm going to test out with the first setting, which is 5 megapixel plus a 34 megapixel picture. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to count down um, as it's saving to see how long it takes. Okay, I've got our friends in focus here. I hope you can see it as well. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. So it takes about three seconds or a little over three seconds to save. Let's take another shot. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to just shooting with a five megapixel option, capture mode. See how long that takes. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Try it again here. I think I missed it. One one thousand, two one thousand. So a little under three seconds there. Let's try it again. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. So yeah, so anywhere between two and a half to three seconds delay. Uh, on the 5 megapixel versus, let's go back and do it again here. Option. Okay, here we go. 1 1000. Oops, battery low. I didn't charge it up before I start testing, so that's why. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. So yeah, a little over 3 seconds for the 1020 to save each file before you can start shooting again. And that's very unfortunate because the limitation I believe here is Windows Phone, uh, well Microsoft doesn't uh, support the quad core yet until at least Windows Phone 8. So that's a very unfortunate situation that um, Nokia had to rush to get this out and um, it's not supporting the, the quad core yet and we're stuck with this dual core. There you have it for that test. Hope you enjoy this quick uh, test of the, uh, the saving of each images as uh, we take them on the 1020. Check out Slash Gear for my full reviews.